Portland teacher strike drags on at this hour. The Portland Teachers Union and the school district once again behind closed doors working to try and reach some sort of agreement on a new contract that would bring the teachers back from the picket lines. And that strike started on November 1st. So far, Portland students having to miss eight days of classes. Teacher pay raises, class sizes, and planning time are big issues here. Lisa Baylett keeping a close eye on the very latest in this, live now from outside that bargaining session. So what can you tell us, Lisa? Yeah, it's interesting, but right now there's no official word, but highly likely tomorrow, day nine, will be another day of missed school. Because even if they were somehow to be able to reach an agreement, it would have to be ratified by the teachers. And right now, the two sides are still at odds. If there was no strike, Portland teachers would be in class today and getting ready for parent-teacher conferences next week. But hope the strike would end soon is fading. While the teachers union and the district are back in bargaining sessions, they're not close to a deal. The district says there's a $200 million gap between what they're offering and what the teachers union is requesting. The union wants the district to spend more from its reserve fund, more from corporate tax money it gets, and make more cuts to administration. One of the biggest sticking points is capping class sizes. PPS says it would cost over $100 million the next two years to hire 352 more teachers under the PAT proposal. The district is offering to lower class sizes, but by just one student in each class in first through fifth grades for just a few million dollars. There are still thousands of parents supporting the strike, but it's weighing on them. How long could you go with this at this point? I mean... <laughs> We have credit card debt like a lot of other people. I mean, we're, we're just digging the hole deeper. So, um, you know, we already paid for our child care for November. So that money is gone and the child care is not there because it took place in the school. I don't know how long. I'm, I'm hoping for a resolution as quickly as possible, but um, not at the expense of, you know, quality schools for our kids and fair wages for our teachers. I am prepared physically, but mentally and keeping my children um, in the know of what they need to know and what they need to learn is a lot but at the same time we want it to go as long as it needs to go to get the answers. Now one other thing we've been asked by a lot of people can you tell us what's going to happen will they have to add on days well we don't have an answer just yet they could add on days at the end of the year they could add on days in order that are supposed to be days off work days for teachers vacation days during the rest of the year they could also add on minutes and hours to the actual school day all options on the table any of those options would be decided after the contract is settled and they would also have to be approved by the teachers. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.